charcoal. When many of us think about it, the first idea that comes up in our minds is barbecue. However, charcoal has been used since the earliest times for a large range of purposes. But because of the innovation of businesses and manufacturers, we can use this product for several domains. For example, food industry, pharmacy, cosmetics, wastewater treatment, etc. But have you ever wondered what is the charcoal made of and how? If you're curious about it, you're in the right place. I'm Shadli Nuha. In this video, I will answer these questions. So I did my research and in order to understand more about the making of charcoal, I challenged myself to make some. Now let's move on to the experiment, shall we? I'm going to take a piece of wood and burn it in the air right now. See the result? I get ashes. This is how most of people think charcoal is made. But in reality, during bioisotope carbonization, the wood is heated in a closed vessel of some kind, away from the oxygen of the air, which otherwise would allow it to burn away to ashes. With very little oxygen, we force the wood to decompose into a variety of substances, the main one of which is charcoal. A lightweight black or a solid with a shapeless form, consisting mainly of elemental carbon called chalk. The water in the wood must be removed as a steam to the unhydrated state before cherry can take place. I'm going to insert a few pieces of dried wood in this test tube with a gas release tube that I'm going to heat now with this Vincent burner. Wood begins to spontaneously break down to produce charcoal with water vapor, methanol, acetic acid, and other chemical compounds in the form of jars and non-condensable bases formed mainly of hydrogen, carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide. As you can see, a brownish liquid escapes from the wood. The pieces of wood become charcoal. So cool. Thank you all for watching my video. I hope you learned something from it.